our honeymoon. And I'll never forget going to San Francisco, mm -hmm. getting on that flight. And flying and to Greece. Should we do an having... episode on our honeymoon and talk about where we went? I have all the photos. What do you guys yeah, think? Yeah, I think that'll be really cool. That could be kind of cool. So uh, yep. the funny thing was. Oh my God. Are you going to? No, if, if you get married in May, it's not summer anywhere. That's kind oh of. Oh my gosh, I forgot to put lotion on. <laughs> you could play tic-tac-toe. I'm going to win this one. <laughs> if you get married in May, it's not summer anywhere. It's almost summer in a lot of places, and it's almost it's going into fall in places, depending on where it's in fall. So for us, it was like, I don't want to do, I love Hawaii, and I love the Caribbean, or Caribbean, depending on how you are. But we had two full weeks. We had two full weeks. And I like to see things. And we, yes. We vacation differently. He likes to do, 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 go, 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 go. Like a couple of days of downtime, but I want to see or experience something new. I would just like to she look at the ocean. She wants to sit. So in my head, when you think like honeymoon, like Let's Adam go was Greece saying. First. I know, but Adam was saying <laughs> that it's hard to find places that are warm in May. Other than Maldives, like the typical, like Fiji. On the Maldives. Yeah. Could have gone there, I guess. But I think you have to go on small planes to, to get to those places. She don't like right? small planes. And I don't They're like. They're safer. I don't like small planes. I just, even though I, I flew one back and forth for the real, but still, that's like 30 seater. We're talking about like, we're talking about like four seaters. And I just was not in the mood for that. So my original plan was to go to like Mozambique, go into Africa and stuff. And, but we you know the problem with that was that there were only beaches that were good at that time of the year. So it came down to this. I gave her a couple of options. She chose <laughs> Greece and I chose Turkey. And we had two weeks and it was awesome. We literally left the next day. Yeah. So we got married on Sunday night. We partied up, had a great time, slept in Monday. So we were on a plane by six o'clock Monday on our way out of the country. And we went straight to Athens. And it was just amazing to show up in Athens at night. I was already on like cloud nine and was experiencing this, you know, like the wedding bliss high. And to get on the plane, have, you know, mm -hmm. a glass of wine, great food, whatever and to land in Greece and see this gorgeous, mm -hmm. gorgeous ruin just lit up, remember, yep. on the hill. Yep. Remember, I looked at you and I was like, wow, it was beautiful. We went to this restaurant where you can actually see. It was a rooftop. Mm -hmm, while you were um, dining the ruins. It was just beautiful. And like we got there, we went to our hotel, we checked in and went straight to dinner. And this restaurant, like I said, over, like Tamara says, overlooked, and you can see the, it was just stunning. The next morning, we woke up and we just we toured Athens and spent, you know, a couple of days in Athens and went to Corinth and saw the Corinth, Corinth. Canal. Also, Corinth is saw the Lions a Gate. City. Yes, I will never forget. One of the things that I love about my my husband when I first met him, talking like he's not here, is that he loves to travel and I love to travel. I love learning about other cultures. I love eating different types of food. The Greek food there. Fantastic. Oh my gosh. Well, Even the French fries. I was like, uh, these are the best French fries I've had in my life. And, and we didn't want the trip to end. So we, you know, we, we were there for a few days and jumped on a high speed ferry and went out to Santorini. <laughs> I've been told how cool Santorini was. You don't get the coolness factor until you're actually there. Yeah. Just stunning. Pictures are stunning, but in once person, you see it in person, it, it literally feels like you're in a movie. And what's great is I had a, I, I like to plan things out. I had a lady who was a specialist in the area help me with it. And we found these this cool, it was called the Altana, I think, houses. And it was a it was a sea captain's house that two twin brothers, funny enough, Tamara being a twin, um, had taken over from their parents. And they had They're like so adorable. They had like six or eight units is all. And they had a pool, and we had this amazing like patio that came out. You walk out in the morning with this tea, your tea and your and your and your breakfast. And you, you look out and you're like, my gosh, this is like I'm in a it's it's like I'm in a Disney movie. It doesn't seem real. Yeah, it was it's perfect. So beautiful. And the twins, they were so sweet. You're actually still friends with them yeah, on, on, on Facebook. Facebook. Yeah. And my dream is, you to know, now back. that we have the kids, is to go back and actually, you know tell the kids of the really mm -hmm. cool adventures that Take we them had. Take them around show them all. But do you remember our first night in Santorini? I wanted to try 
Oh yes. So. Well, it was lunch, and it's a really good restaurant in San. It's uh, we, we went we, back twice. It was yeah, so you can stay in Ia's at the end. So Ia's where the famous pictures come from at the sunset. And we went down there and enjoyed that. We were more in the middle of the island there. Uh, Ferro Stefani, I think is what it's called. And there was a restaurant, it's walking paths. We never, you never, you never need a taxi really, you just walked everywhere. We went down this walking path, it wasn't far away, and they had just amazing Greek food. And the owner came over, he found out it was our honeymoon, and he and we wanted to try Uzo. I had a shot. Tamara had two. Well, you didn't like it, because it like tastes like licorice. licorice. But I still drank one. And then I was like, but it's our honeymoon. No one explained to me what Uzo was. <laughs> The next thing I remember is being waking up from being passed out. I think it was three. Yeah, three hours. So we get back to the hotel room and she passed out. She's like, I'm gonna take a nap out cold. So I'm like, I'm wide awake. And it's like two in the three afternoon. Hours. So I'm like, well, so I hiked down to these ruins that were down. It would have probably been kind of a, it was kind of a strenuous hike and being our honeymoon, she probably would have been like, Adam, what are you doing? So I, I hiked down there, got a bunch of photos and came back. How would I be? Adam, what are we doing? Um, so I, I actually, it was, it was a nice getaway for me to kind of also get my mind straight with all the crazy, it's just been a, been a whirlwind couple of weeks getting, you know, anybody who gets married knows. Um, all amazing moments. It was just nice to get out there and just be like, whew, man, this is, you know, we did it, this is amazing. And I came back and she was still out cold. And my, finally I woke her up and she was like, I was I was out for how long? And I'm like, three hours. And I was like, oh my gosh, I felt so bad. I was like, what did you do? He said, walk around the whole island. No, he was kidding. just down there. Uh, but yeah. And do you remember seeing the sunset no. there for the first night? Stunning, just stunning. Stunning. We spent four days and four nights there. Went all over the island. Uh, one day, I rented a small car, a uh, smart car, and drove around the island. Went basically from one tip of the island to the other. But for the most part, the rest of the three days we were there and nights, we just stayed in our, right around our, our, our the Altana houses. And there, was, there was amazing food. You could food. walk everywhere to rest. Great music. It was just, I can't wait to go back. I really Me can't Me too. Wait. I miss it. And then. We took a ferry. Overnight ferry, which I recommend because we I, we love water and you can fly anytime. Plus she doesn't like little planes. So I found an overnight ferry from Santorini. It left at 11 o'clock at night and arrived in Rodas. At 7.30 or 8 the next morning, so it was perfect. We had Rodas, like, oh. what a sweet little little town. It, it We stayed inside, actually... The, the old city. The old city. The walled city. Um, I recommend it. If you can do that, do it. Amazing. I think that's where I had my favorite french fries. Those french fries were amazing. I think it, yeah. I think it was there. We stayed, I can't think of his name, his name was John. He, uh -huh. owns a little, he owned, built a little hotel with four rooms. And it was in literally inside the walls that were built. Did we learn about the Christian Crusades? The, there? Crusa the Crusaders were there. Are the uh, Knights of the Knights of? Um, I can't think of it. Not the Round Table. That's the, 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 the Knights, the Knights, the Knights, the Knights. Well, we can't think of it right now. But by the time we edit this video, bing, it'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> the Knights Templar. The Knights Templar were there. Okay. And they had like the, they had the colonnade, and we also just I love taking photos. We had these amazing photos. We went all around the city. The food was great. We had um, then we went to this other these these um, these uh, Roman ruins, our Greek ruins up on the hill. Remember, in a town that wasn't too far away. And when we got there, um, we took uh, Tamara took a burrow up the hill. Remember, a what? A burrow, a little a little donkey basically. <gasps> Oh my gosh, yes. That was so much fun. And then when we came down, didn't we have we um, the, fish. the fish? We had a fish pedicure. That was odd. I will tell you this. It tickled. It just makes you feel nasty mm -hmm. because you don't... Re I know my feet aren't that nasty, but the way the fish were eating it, mm. and they were not afraid of the bunion, mm. they... And then they get inside your okay. toes. We'll just quit this. It was... <laughs> Next, lunch was fabulous for us. <laughs> I'd, I'd rather a sea salt scrub or something. So then I like to experience, as, so does Tamara. So we took the one hour ferry from Rodas after a few days to Turkey. And we, we rented a car there, had lunch. There was a little castle on a hill. I mean, the, the smallest castle, like smaller than a house up on this little, little hill in the middle of this little city. We walked up there, we had lunch, rented a car, and then we drove. And here's the best part for me. I'm driving and I drive for like, she falls asleep. So it's like a three hour drive at this point. And I drove through some of the most amazing scenery I've ever seen. Like rock forests, like just rocks for like miles. I don't remember that. I know you were sleeping. 
And then there was a amazing forest of olive trees. Like it was like, I don't know if it was an olive, it just seemed like it went on forever. Everywhere really? I looked was olive trees. But then we came down into an area of a city that's being rebuilt right now, right at dusk. It's really dusty. And Tamara woke up and we were nowhere near a beach at this point. She was mad at me. Well, because when you think of honeymoon, for me, I think of beaches. She's I right. thought, like, again, like Hawaii, like Fiji. All I wanted was, like, like a Mai Tai and, and you know, some, some chips and salsa with guacamole. I just wanted like one little moment of that. So when we, I, I thought that that's what we were going to do in we went, Turkey. Yeah, we, went to, we ended up going to Badrum and Ishmir, which gave us that. So we eventually went. I was a little snotty. I'm, I'm, I'm admitting that. But you have a right to be, because listen, if she'd been sleeping for three hours and she woke up into, we were literally in the middle of a construction site. I remember thinking in my head, this would be the bad time for Tamara to wake up, because I've just seen three hours of amazing scenery. And sure enough, And obviously, she woke up. those, I mean, it's okay to have those towns. Oh, no, so, I don't wanna, it was being rebuilt. But what, it was being rebuilt. I don't want to come off like that. No, 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 no. Uh, but, but at the same time, I, I, I was thinking of our honeymoon. I was yeah, yeah, thinking yeah. this resort. I was thinking, and we just stopped, and I'm like. However. When we got to, when we saw Badrum and Ishmir and all on the, it, the, the Turkish Riviera was stunning. And I have to say, the Turkish people are some of the people I will never forget. So friendly. They're so friendly, so loving. Mm -hmm. And we went to the spice market. Do oh, you remember that? Amazing. And I kept some of those spices for years. It was so much fun. We actually have a picture, I think, of me mm -hmm. in the middle of, of, mm -hmm. of, of the market. And it was just... It was beautiful. And we, we got to go to a beach resort there for a couple of days. <clears throat> and then, you know, we were there for, I think it was the European soccer championships. We went out one night for dinner and we, we got to sit in, you know, in a Turkish uh, cafe on the beach in our little plastic chairs and had dinner and watched the soccer championship. Yes. And... Do you remember? And even our uh, cab driver, he was so sweet. Adam actually became friends. That was when we were in Istanbul. Istanbul. I still friends them on Facebook. Yes. So the running joke is, is that Adam pretty much knows everybody, everywhere that you can travel safely around the world. And not safely. And yes, <laughs> and not safely. I try to forget that. And it's because he makes friends wherever he goes. So I can remember we were traveling, I think it was in Africa. And I said, this is after our honeymoon, I'm yeah. digressing. And I said, Adam, yeah, do you know, do you know people here? And he was like, yeah, actually, I know too. And we ended up meeting both of them. So the cab driver the in Istanbul, yeah, you did it, Shocking. but he ended up making friends. What's the, uh, what's the, the famous ruins he went to in... Um... Turkey? Yeah. <gasps> Look it up. So we have to know this one. I'm curious. I went to the... So famous, type in famous Turkey ruins. I can't think of the name right now. Famous Turkey Ruins. Yep. Ephesus. Ephesus, yeah. Oh my gosh. How so, we did not remember Ephesus? I know. So we... And again, oh, it was... And again, the Bible. Yep. <laughs> Ephesians. We go, I always connect things. The Bible. We go to Ephesus, and uh, first of all, we stayed in this hotel. That, Ephesians. This, this hotel that was in, hadn't been updated since the 60s, but it was still really nice, and the Kennedys had stayed there. So you felt like you were walking into an Austin Powers film, but it was, it was so clean and so nice. It was right over the water. So literally probably the best sleep I've ever had in my life. All you heard was the ocean crashing under our room. And then the next day we go to Ephesus and it was just, and Tamara Amazing. made friends with the, the guy. He was the sweetest man and they became like best pals. He yep. took us everywhere and it was just amazing to see the ruins of Ephesus. It was, I mean. It That's just, where the library was, yes, right? Yes, jaw, it was jaw shot. dropping. I mean, and also the technology that they had that we don't even know now. Do you we, remember seeing there was a statue of the world actually yeah. round? And what Close. our guy told us was way, way, way back in the day, they knew that the earth was round. And because the, the town was covered at one point, people forgot about that and people thought it was flat again. And then obviously yeah. we know the world is round. Although there are still people who think <laughs> it's flat, even though you... You, you see it you see right. clearly, but... <laughs> <laughs> the world's not flat. Yes. We go from Athens to Corinth to Santorini to Rhodus to the Turkish Riviera to Ephesus. And then the, the final little trip was a smaller jet, but she was fine with it, 
we went to we ended in Istanbul, which is where that bridge was, mm -hmm. and we spent a couple of days there. We went to the the um, this amazing like cistern under the it's under the ground. It looks like they're in, it's called I think it's called like, I don't know what it's called, but it's like a cathedral. It's a cistern. It looks like a cathedral. We went to you know all these amazing places in Istanbul, and the people there were also fantastic. And remember, we checked into our hotel. Remember who we saw there? They were a, a famous band. A famous band, Mo Mo Mo. Michael Stipe. Why can't I'm going blank? So am I. <laughs> <laughs> wait, There's look a up. lot of blanks. Wait, look it up. We had to look at it. Look it up, look it up. Oh, look it up, look it up, look it up. Is it Mo? What's his name? Michael Stipe's his name. I can't even remember the oh band. Oh my gosh, here we go again. Oh. Bro, look at Miss Pop that does. Well, we've been, we almost Time. been married for like 10 years too. For Mike. We really did Just have an amazing. Michael Stipe. <laughs> okay. Okay, R.E.M. R.E.M. For crying yes. out loud, I would never would have gotten that. I'm oh, so tired. Oh, God. I got the M right. It's actually Michael. So, we're checking in our hotel, and there's a guy with red pants in front of me. And I mean, they were bright red pants. And we have to go, in Istanbul, you have I to go. I remember his head. Yeah, he was shaved. Shaved. And you have to go through a, 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 a metal detector. Mm -hmm. And so, I remember thinking, hey, those, those are some red pants. And so, we go through, and he turns around, and he's like, those are some red pants. And he goes, hello. And I'm like, hey, how you doing? And I'm thinking, that's Michael Stipe from R.E.M. And then we were there. Remember, he did a concert that night. And then they yep. announced they're breaking up. We should have right? gone. We should have gone to the concert in this time. And it was literally afterwards. Yeah. So maybe, I don't know, maybe that was it for them. I don't maybe. know what happened. Or maybe they we're knew the that was it. We're the cause of R.E.M.'s breakup. No. <laughs> now, I mean, it was really cool to go to the, the Blue Mosque and just to see uh, Istanbul and and the culture that's there. I mean, you know, Constantinople, Istanbul. I mean, the history of that city um, like I said, amazing. the spice market was just so absolutely cool. stunning. So it was cool. beautiful. Yep. And I kept those spices for for a very long time. And I remember, babe, we wanted remember to find me them again. using my, my last bit. I and was, she was like, like oh. this is it. But overall, we had an amazing honeymoon. Mm -hmm. I gained 10 pounds. No, you did. Yes, I did. I gained 10 pounds. We're curious to hear oh, yeah. where you guys went for your, your honeymoon. honeymoon. And if you're not married, but you want to get married. Where do you want to go? Where do you want to go? What are some of the places you like? What are some of the places that you want to go to if you're not married? What are some of the things did you do on your honeymoon? Did you have fish eat your feet? Did you uh, <laughs> did you hike the ruins of some? Uh, did, you did you ride a camel? Did you ride it? You didn't ride a camel. You rode a burrow. It was awesome. It was. I'm sorry, a donkey. So guess one more thing we did on the way home. We stopped through London for like eight hours and met our friends at a pub. We did, and it was. No, that was the other time. Yes. I was like, and it was raining. No, that was the other time Different we went time to, London. to London. In a pub. Yeah. And then we went home. And then I remember shooting the rest of Tea and Tamara. I remember not wanting to come home, though. We I just to wanted to stay. And it was a beautiful, beautiful honeymoon. It was, it, was, it was one it was a trip for the ages. And we were so blessed to be able to experience and see so many things and i can't wait to take the kids back and show them don't forget to subscribe to the, the healthy, healthy life, life.